Scores of Jamaicans have been victims of robberies and harassment on public passenger vehicles. This evening, we share the story of one woman who was abducted in a taxi. Thankfully, she lived to tell the tale. Javon Keys shares her story. It was May 2018. After leaving a youth conference at the Jamaica Pegasus Hotel in New Kingston, the journey home was not what Shakira and her four friends would have imagined. After a long wait for a taxi to halfway tree, one finally came. No, it was a red plate. It was red plate taxi. I'm like, okay, it's not a white plate. It's not an illegal. We can't trust this. Or so they thought. I slid in first and um, my friends, two of them went around to the back and then my other friend joined me in the middle row. Kids, I, I remember being on my phone to tell mommy that I just got something. I'm almost there. And when we got to, so we're traveling from Pegasus now, when we got to the Porsche store that's at the four-way there in New Kingston, <laughs> the guy beside me pulls a gun. She didn't get to send that message to her mother as the gunman grabbed her phone. Shakira smiles a lot now, but being held at gunpoint, she recounts as the most traumatic experience of her life. It was at that point, though, the journey took another twist. So he made a U-turn to go back in the, to heading in the direction of Imanation Park. And all from, from that place to... To this moment, I still don't know what the name of the area is, but it was somewhere down in the Maxfield area on some avenue from there, from heading in the direction of the Emancipation Park to that place. All that time he was um, collecting our things. So he said to give him um, or a wallet, purse, money, all of that. She now began to fear for her life. The whole time I was sitting there, I was just talking to God. I was like, yo, God, please, please don't let this be how I exit the earth. Like, don't, make, don't let this be. The ordeal lasted for about 45 minutes. She says they were pushed from the vehicle and were able to walk to the halfway tree police station. Thankfully for her and her four friends, their lives were spared and they escaped serious injury. She says a more reliable and organized transportation system would help to make a difference. Tomorrow, we look at a new platform the Transport Authority is planning to roll out to heighten public passenger safety. Javon Keys, TVJ News.